This is CBS 4 News at Noon. First at noon, a major announcement from the state attorney this morning. A Miami man serving 32 years in prison who has always claimed his innocence is expected to be released. We are live on air and always streaming on CBS News Miami with the CBS News app. Good afternoon. I'm Maribel Rodriguez. And I'm Kendis Gibson. Thomas James was convicted of first degree murder in 1990. And today, prosecutors asking a court to throw out the conviction. CBS 4's Keith Jones is live in Miami with more on today's announcement. Keith. Yeah, the last time Mr. James saw daylight as a free man, George H.W. Bush was president. Today was his first taste of freedom in 32 years. How's it feel? Good. Very simply said, he felt good today. This is 55-year-old Thomas James walking out of the state attorney's office somewhat as a free man. You see, still see him here in shackles. Technically, he's still in the state's custody until he goes before that judge and is acquitted of everything. He was walked across the street. That's where he is set to go before a judge to have his prison conviction and life sentence overturned. Thomas James came directly from a news conference with state attorney Catherine Fernandez Rundle announcing a motion to vacate all judgments against Thomas James. James was arrested, convicted, and sentenced to life in prison for the 1990 murder of Francis McKinnon. The problem is there was never any evidence linking James to the scene. No DNA, no fingerprints. McKinnon's stepdaughter, the victim in this case, said she unequivocally could identify James the shooter. But decades later, that same stepdaughter came forward, said she made a mistake. It wasn't Thomas Rayner James, but another man who had the same name and went by Tommy James. State Attorney Fernandez Reynolds said this was an unfair mistake all the way around. This is both a day of joy and a day of sadness. For the James family, this has been a day long in coming. We are going to undo what is a wrongful conviction of an innocent man. All right, so it's not admissible in court proceedings, but the state did request Mr. James take a polygraph test. That was two days ago in which he agreed. They asked him three different questions in this. One was, were you there when the shooting happened? Did you pull the trigger? Did you shoot Mr. McKinnon? Were you a part of a planned armed robbery of which he said no to all those questions, and the polygraph showed that he was being truthful. As for the other Thomas James, the Tommy James, who the state believes was connected to this shooting and this murder, the state has learned that he died in Nevada and he'll never be tried in connection to this case. We have learned that Mr. James was released. He's going to head back over to the state attorney's office where we understand he's going to say a few words. Ted Scouton's got that part of the story. Much more details in this coming up starting at 5 o'clock. For now, reporting live at the state attorney's office, Keith Jones, CBS 4 News.